So what's up YouTube? Uh, doing a quick video on how to send your songs to me. A, a lot of people get confused with this and, and don't feel bad. I mean, this is, you know, when you start sending stuff out to get mixed, it, it can become a little bit difficult, but once you do it once, it's, it's ready to go. If you're a Pro Tools user, what's going to happen is, let's check out the mix window, let's check out the edit window. What we're going to do as a Pro Tools user, since I'm using Pro Tools, and then it's similar to every other program that's out there. Usually under the file of each program, there's going to be either a export as individual tracks for some programs. Um, there's going to be a render as individual tracks. You just want to make sure that you're exporting individual tracks. Another thing to note is if you got things on like compressors and stuff like that and you're exporting from another program not Pro Tools make sure if you're not sure of that thing to get rid of it don't just make it inactive you don't have to like totally destroy your session just to get it mixed uh, by a studio just make sure to to bypass effects you're not uh, you know sure of like EQs compressors limiters um, if you do have effects like you know like an auto tune that you really like um, then leave it on um, if you do have uh, a reverb for a creative effect, leave it on. Don't don't totally like disqualify your credit. A mixing engineer's job is to is to bring everything to the to the best it can be and use some of the best equipment to achieve that. So in Pro Tools, what we're going to do is go to File, Save, Copy In. Now, right now, if you're watching this video, it might have changed, but I'm using Pro Tools 9. So if you're in Pro Tools 10 or Pro Tools 11, make sure you go here and you're going to make it compatible with the previous version Pro Tools 9. Um, I don't want you to have to do too much work on your end, so I'm just telling you that. Um, the other thing is, is if you recorded waves, leave them waves. If you recorded AIFF, leave them that. You know, if you recorded SD2, leave it that. Now, 44.1, if you've recorded a 44.1, leave it B. Don't try to up the scale and, and try to make it better. It's not going to better it. It actually might diminish the quality. If you've recorded at 192, if you're doing movies and stuff, that's different. But most of the time, you don't need to record at 96 or 192. But we can handle 96 to 44. One, we can play back and record at 192. But a lot of our work, we don't do that. Uh, we don't do a lot of movie stuff right now. Bit depth, I would recommend if you're recording, 24 bit is awesome. Um, I might have to plug this MacBook in. It's about to die on me. I got a lot of stuff going on. So, 44 1 24 bit. The biggest thing in Pro Tools is to create and make sure that you select all your audio files. Once you have this done, hit the OK button. I'm not going to hit it because I just hit it before that. Hit the OK button. In my case, I hit the cancel button. But then what's going to happen is it's going to save a copy of this. Now, I actually am going to show you on the Mac, if you, we have to make one single file. This is a bunch of files, okay? This is all the audio files, a copy of the uh, PTF file. To make this one file to send, you're going to have to compress it. So you hit the compress button and it'll create this zip folder. On a PC, you're going to right click and then go to send to and then hit zip and it'll zip that up. Now to send it to me, you're going to go to imixandmaster.com this is your your big file uploader here type in your email type in a description and then you're gonna browse in my case the desktop I'm gonna select here and it's up to two gigs this sessions 1.78 um, so what I'm gonna do is hit one of my emails out there in the wrong space I'll say Hey, it's Joe. Talked earlier. Here's the song. And then you're gonna, you know, type in your email. And then hit upload. And that's it. I really don't need to upload it to myself. But don't go scrolling off the pages. Some browsers will screw it up. But two gigs is a lot. So depending on your internet speed and and the FTP is pretty quick. But then there you go and I'll have your song and we'll start chatting and, and then we'll start working on your music the other thing we can do is for uh, other sessions I do have a Dropbox um, the Dropbox is right here this is all the work I've been doing for people as of late 
but all this stuff I can enter you know I can put you a, a Dropbox folder and we can share stuff that way if you're if you're more familiar with that but unless you have a paid Dropbox you're not going to be able to upload more than four gigs I think but Dropbox is cool so I think it's worth the ten bucks a month if you're going to be sending music and get real serious about it um, that's actually easier than the iMix and Master website so let's just start conversing and, and go from there now if you're sending a song for um, mastering I'm going to uh, do that in the next video so that's pretty much